So now I've started talking to the camera and you you were so nice to me. Um, I'm going to continue to do so. So Grandmother Clock and I have another story for you. This is the story of the song in the gloaming. <laughs> This song has such a good story that I always have to tell it to audiences, but by the time I finish telling the story and I sing the song, the song takes about a third of the time. So what better then to use that story for the second ever two camera piece on my channel. I've had the channel since 2008 and it's only this year, 10 years later, well, 11 years later, but I started talking. <laughs> now you won't shut me up. This song was written in 1877 by Annie Fortescue Harrison to a text by Meta Orad, who wrote many, many poems of suffering. Orad even wrote a set of poems about a tragic 14th century organ builder, a legend of the Vox Humana stop. But back to Annie. She was born in Calcutta in 1848 and the family moved to Sussex and then when she was 19 they went on a holiday to the county down in Northern Ireland and it was there that she fell in love with young Arthur Hill whose father was a Marquis of Downshire and lived in a castle. Annie was very popular in the village, she played the organ in the church and she she was helpful to the sick and needy, and everybody loved her, including young Arthur. Now, accounts differ. Some say that Mr. and Mrs. Marquis of Downshire, sorry, that's Marchioness, isn't it, uh, disapproved of the match because Annie's father wasn't the right type of person, or that it was a couple of years later and that the young Lord was already married. Uh, but the main thing was is that Annie knew that it wasn't right and she left for London without telling him where she was going. So a few years passed, she wrote music and she was much moved by one of Meta Orid's poems, In the Gloaming. It gave perfect voice to her feelings. It became an enormous success, particularly associated with a fantastic tenor called Enrico Campobello, real name uh, Henry Martin, uh, possibly Campbell. In those days you were taken a lot more seriously as a singer if you could prove that you were Italian by your Italian sounding name. Hence Adele Chapman becoming Ada Adini or Eddie Johnson becoming Eduardo Di Giovanni. Uh, he later managed the Metropolitan Opera in New York. I digress. It may have been Signor Campobello, it may have been another singer, but in any case, young Arthur Hill was wandering sadly around London, having meanwhile married a parentally approved woman who had died after only two years, yearning after his long lost Annie, when he heard this song being sung in a concert which so perfectly encapsulated what he was feeling. A heart-rendingly melancholy song. composed it. 
They married that very year, 1877. New editions of her song, which, it being so popular, just kept being churned out, churned out, churned out, now said Lady Arthur Hill on them. They had a daughter, and they remained happily married until 1931 when he died. The couple supported the arts in Hillsborough in County Down, around the estate, and Annie helped out in many productions and musical events. She composed two operettas, The Lost Husband and The Fairy Girl, which was um, produced in the Savoy Theatre in London in 1890 and in the Gaiety Theatre in Dublin in 1894, both with librettos by her mother-in-law. So it must have ended up very amicably, despite the initial disapproval. Annie died in uh, 1956, or was it 54? 56 or, f 56 or 54? In the gloaming. As I say, if you're gonna give that story before singing it, your story will take up three times the time of the song itself. In the gloaming is going to be on my forthcoming album, out soon. And its story will also be in She Wrote the Songs. I'm going to put a link in the description to the music. It's copyright free. So do give it a go. It's a lovely little song. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to us. Actually, grandmother has been stopped. Let's start her up again. Can you hear this wonderful clip ticking? I felt somehow a bit intimate. Right now, this is the this is the moment when you do all the outtakes and things, but I, I don't have any outtakes. I'll do some outtakes. <laughs> How's that for outtakes? It's an insight into my character. I'll put on my husband's hat. In the gloaming. Text by Meta Ored. Music by Annie Fortescue Harrison, a.k.a. Lady Arthur Hill.